I ask the delegates to turn their attention to resolution number 64, which may be found on your resolutions link, entitled Nomination of Thomas A. Thornburg for 5th District Vice President Emeritus of the IFF. I call upon Vice Chair Colbert to read the resolved clauses. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Without objection of the delegates, I'd like to call Cody Thornburg and Kyle Thornburg to the dais for the reading of the whereas and the resolves. Without objection? Without objection. Cody and Kyle, please report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Kyle Thornburg, St. Paul Firefighters, Local 21. Here we go. <laughs> whereas, Thomas A. Thornburg, on August 15, 1974, officially began a lifelong journey of public service when he enlisted in the United States Army at the age of 17. Whereas, Thomas A. Thornburg ascended to the rank of Specialist 4 E4 and was honorably discharged after fulfilling his patriotic duties to his country and the American people. Whereas, Thomas A. Thornburg started his firefighting career as a 22-year-old man on March 2, 1979 with the Minneapolis Fire Department of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Whereas Thomas A. Thornburg in 1987 promoted to the rank of fire motor operator with the Minneapolis Fire Department of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Whereas Thomas A. Thornburg in 1993 promoted to the rank of fire captain with the Minneapolis Fire Department of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Whereas Thomas A. Thornburg on November 24, 1993 received the Minneapolis Fire Department's Distinguished Service Award, later renamed the Medal of Valor, for his acts of bravery and life-saving rescue of four unconscious children from a burning building on Aldrich Avenue in North Minneapolis and delivered both CPR and mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, which resulted in saving the lives of all four children. Whereas Thomas A. Thornburg, in 1995, at the age of 38, was elected Sergeant at Arms of the International Association of Firefighters, Local Number 82, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Whereas Thomas A. Thornburg in 2001 became the president of Minneapolis Firefighters Association, Local 82, and was re-elected two more times and served 15 years on the IFF Local 82 Executive Board until 2010. And whereas during Thomas A. Thornburg's tenure as president of IFF Local 82, Minneapolis firefighters received a cumulative 25% wage increase in their collective bargaining agreements, as well as scores of other well-deserved benefits. And whereas Thomas A. Thornburg's leadership as president of IFF Local Number 82, firefighter jobs in the city of Minneapolis were restored after crippling layoffs in 2001, and 32 union members were brought back to work. Whereas Thomas A. Thornburg in 2007 was elected Vice President of Cities of the First Class of the Minnesota Professional Firefighters until 2008. And whereas Thomas A. Thornburg in 2008 became the President of the Minnesota Professional Firefighters, was re-elected and served seven years on the Executive Board until 2013. And whereas under Thomas A. Thornburg's leadership, all organized IFF local affiliates in Minnesota were reunited and once again, again, became dues-paying members of the MPFF, making the MPFF whole. Whereas under Thomas A. Thornburg's leadership, the MPFF was successful in advancing legislation at the Minnesota State Capitol that strengthened pensions for public safety officers, established the first firefighter licensing in the United States, made it lawful for full-time firefighters to fundraise while on duty, and successfully defended uni union workers from devastating right-to-work legislation. And whereas Thomas A. Thornburg in 2008 was awarded the Muscular Dystrophy Association Brick Award for laying the foundation to a cure for neuromuscular disease. And whereas Thomas A. Thornburg in 2009 was awarded the MDA Spirit Award for his philanthropic pursuit to eliminate legal barriers that would prevent firefighters from raising critical monies needed to support life-saving treatments for children and adults affected by neuromuscular disease. Whereas Thomas A. Thornburg in 2012 was elected, elected the 5th District Vice President of the International Association of Firefighters at the 51st Convention in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And whereas Thomas A. Thornburg in 2013 was affirmed the 5th District Vice President of the IFF in a prevailing special election ordered by the United States Department of Labor. 
And whereas Thomas A. Thornburg was reelected two more times by acclamation and grew the 5th District of the IFF to 131 locals, exceeding 7,100 member, 7, members by the addition of 25 new charters, over a dozen affiliates to locals, and more than 1,000 card-carrying union brothers and sisters since taking office. Whereas, under Thomas A. Thornburg's leadership, the 5th District of the IFF has experienced its pinnacle of unity amongst its members, increased communications, improved accessibility to IFF programs and services, and provided greater visibility to the office of the 5th District Vice President. Whereas, under Thomas A. Thornburg's leadership, members and affiliate locals in the 5th District of the IFF have experienced strong, fair, and equal representation and more opportunity than any other previous 5th District Vice President of the IFF. And whereas Thomas A. Thornburg's fervent career in trade unionism is a testament to the proud heritage of professional firefighters across the 5th District of the IFF, an example to those that aspire to seek higher prospect. Whereas Thomas A. Thornburg in 2016 officially retired from the Minneapolis Fire Department after a 37 and a half years long career and at the rank of fire captain assigned to MFD engine company number 19. Whereas, over the course of his career in the fire service, Thomas A. Thornburg has devoted 45 years and counting to his fellow union brothers and sisters and served every day to improve their safety, increase their strength, and enhance their standard of living. And whereas, through his friendship, integrity, and industrious work ethic, Thomas A. Thornburg has become one of the most respected labor leaders across the 5th District of the IFF and exemplifies the spirit of solidarity and virtues of the laboring class. And whereas, for these and many more reasons, the 7,100 members across the IFF 5th District have seen their working conditions ameliorated and quality of life significantly improved under Thomas A. Thornburg's le leadership. And therefore, be it. Thank you, brother. Cody Thornburg, Roseville Professional Firefighters, Local 5051. And be it resolved that the delegates assembled at the 57th Convention of the International Association of Firefighters in Boston, Massachusetts, formally bestow upon Thomas A. Thornburg the title of 5th District Vice President Emeritus of the International Association of Firefighters. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, the committee heard compelling testimony from those who have been profoundly impacted by this individual's unwavering commitment to the labor movement. His decisive leadership, mentorship, and friendship have been a guiding force already, always ready to work tirelessly on behalf of the membership 24-7, 365. The committee recommends adoption of this resolution. An aye or yes vote will be in favor of adoption of the resolution. And on behalf of the committee, which supports this and favors the adoption of this resolution, 64, I so moved. You have a committee motion before you. It does not require a second on the motion. Before I go to the brother, microphone four, I believe we just had a first in the 108 year history of the IFF, where two sons of a proposed emeriti officer who happened to be a delegate, an alternate delegate, actually read the resolution into the record for their father. That's quite a feat. <laughs> Tommy, that alone is testimony to who you are. Chair, recognize the brother, microphone, four name and local. Yes, sir. Uh, Mark Lukoski, President, Local 82, Minneapolis. What points of brother rise? I rise in overwhelming support and request that everybody else follow in support of this motion. State your, state your point, brother. Well, you've obviously just been given uh, pretty much a lifelong history, but the biggest piece is consistent service and just helping one person or another. So uh, I, I don't even need to touch all that. I don't write speeches. I pretty much wing it because it comes, comes out as it comes out. But I am here to tell you as one of the biggest accomplish, accomplishments I think he's done for, in, for the first time in over 100 years, back in 02, uh, Minneapolis laid off 30 plus firefighters. Uh, I was one of those firefighters and uh, personally witnessed and worked with and was constantly 
supported as I had made a career change as, as a, a, a younger man, maybe, but uh, I, wa I witnessed nonstop support as he attacked the mayor, called out a fire chief that was uh, against us also, and it was a dual layoff as it was tied to state budgets and that state was against us also. We all have our battles up here. We've all got wins and victories. I just wanted to give some accolades to that because I witnessed it. And here I am almost 24 years later as a 15-year president of Local 82 taking over when Tom left. What I see is here is this is every, every local, every district bringing up uh, the people they want for the Samaritan status because they're the witnesses. Most of the people in the room aren't witnesses to the accomplishments that other districts do or other presidents do. I think everybody in this, in this room is a leader. They're all gonna grow as leaders. And I am just one who has been honored, privileged to enjoy and utilize the loyalty, the friendship, the mentorship, the direction. And as a bigger piece, I've got to get guidance from Tom. I've watched him grow from Local 82 president. I've watched him take the state over and then even move up to district vice president. I just, with overwhelming support, I, or I, I would just like to request with overwhelming support because I believe everybody on this stage has certain traits that are similar, but only a few have those traits up there that get recommended for this status. And I'm here to tell you, Tom Thornburg, District Vice President Tom Thornburg, and friend of mine, 100% has those exact fine-tuned traits that everybody else is up for today. So it's like I said, with honor that I, I, I ask for your support, and I would like to publicly acknowledge his wife, Kathy, who's been a rock, because as you know, you guys are never home. So thank you, and uh, please consider that support. Thank you, brother. Chair recognize the brother microphone for name and local. Mike, Mike Smith, President of Local 21, St. Paul. For what points do brother rise? I rise in support of this resolution. State your point, brother. When I first took office 15 years ago, I had two mentors. One is brother Chris Parsons that's on that wall, and there is Tom Thornburg. Tom Thornburg has been there every step of the way for me. When I call, never goes to voicemail, Tom always answers. Always gave me good leadership, direction, and you know, he's like a father figure. When I, what he has done at the state level held many positions. You, you've heard it, he organized, everybody in Minnesota was together under Tom's leadership. He advanced uh, to the DVP for the 5th District, and he united this 5th. The Fearless 5th is in great hands with Tom Thornburg. His accomplishments are untouchable from anybody. And I, if I could use GST Lima's motto of unite, fight, and organize, that is exactly what Tom Thornburg did for this 5th District, and he did it damn well. Um, Tom's legacy will be there forever. We have a, we're going to have a change of leadership, and they know that they have big shoes to fill. So with that, Tom has left this fifth much better than it was, and I'm very proud to be a member of the fifth district. So in that, I rise in support of this resolution. Thank you, brother. Chair recognize the brother microphone for name and local. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Kyle Thornburg, St. Paul Firefighters, Local 21. For what points of brother rise? <clears throat> Appreciate another opportunity to address the delegation. State your point, brother. I stand here with my brother Cody, and we rise in support of this resolution and with our hearts full of gratitude. GP Kelly, GST Lima, to the DVPs and trustees, to the entire IAFF staff, past and present, and to all 350,000 members represented by this delegation. The fifth district by the numbers is small, but we are mighty and we are fearless. We're never afraid, 
never afraid to take the fight head on, wherever that may be. Under our dad's leadership, his members have made remarkable achievements in Minnesota, Wisconsin, North Dakota, and South Dakota. He is a man with an integrity that is contagious. But the most important lesson he ever taught us was how to take care of one another, which in its simplest form is really the only purpose our IAFF exists to serve. Our dad loves this union. The blood of the IFF runs through our veins, literally and figuratively. Emeritus is the greatest honor all of you could bestow upon him. His legacy will be cemented at this convention and it will live on each day Cody and I go to work on behalf of our IFF members. To you all, we want to say thank you. Thank you for allowing us to share our dad with you and thank you for adopting us and raising us in the firehouse of trade unionism. Thank you, brother. Well said. Well said, Kyle. Chair, recognize the brother microphone, full name and local. Tom Schulte, local 598, Austin, Minnesota. Four points of brother rise. I rise as a support. State your point. Tommy, the 5th District loves you. The Minnesota Professional Firefighters love you. Local 598 loves you, and I love you. Three more words, Mr. Chair. Leadership, mentor, brother. Thank you. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Chair, recognize the brother microphone five, name and local. Dave Gelati, LA County Firefighters, local 1014. Four points of brother rise. I rise in strong support. State your resolution. Point. Thank you. Uh, I was elections committee chairman for this union for a lot of years. And uh, when Tom came in, I had to make a special trip back to District 5 to run an election with the DOL and harder times. And uh, I'm under microphone 5 for District 5. And I come out of District 10, LA County firefighters, the California professional firefighters, and all of the firefighters in District 10 owe a huge debt of gratitude to Tom Thornburg, District 5, and all your members because he set the moral, the issue-based, and the personal compass for the business of the IAFF. And I want you to know that District 5 is also District 5 because, as I learned when I went back there and Tom showed me, it's home of America's breweries with 5% alcohol or greater, and he taught me this. And we owe you a debt of gratitude for that, too. In all seriousness, Tom, congratulations to you, your boys, your family, and enjoy your hard-earned retirement. You're an amazing leader. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Chair, recognize the brother microphone for name and local. Malin Mitchell, President, Professional Firefighters of Wisconsin. Four points, of brother Rice. I rise in unanimous support from Wisconsin to speak on behalf of the resolution. State your point. You know, when I first met uh, Tom Thornburg in 2008, I asked myself, damn, does, does everybody from Minnesota sound like Jesse Ventura? <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, in 2012, when Tom got elected, He's been a gem for us ever since. Not to air our dirty laundry, but in 2012 in Philadelphia, we were divided as a district. And not just because we had an election, that wasn't really it. It was because of some of the internal politics, some of the internal politics of our small district. There were times where we would come to this convention before 2012, that you would see Minnesota in a small district, Minnesota sitting at their tables, Wisconsin sitting on the other side, and North and South Dakota sprinkled in between. If you see us now, you can't really tell where we start and where we end as far as our states. Tom has organized over, over hundreds of members in our district, brought back the sense of leadership and dignity and pride of being part of the Fearless Fifth. He has mentored all of us behind me, including myself. He's brought back honesty, integrity, 
and that what was needed. I've always said that, and I'm not kidding, Tom is the nicest guy to rise to this level within our union that I've ever seen. We in Wisconsin love him. We hate to see him go. If he were running again, we would not be running, none of us. So from the professional firefighters of Wisconsin, from the bottom of our hearts, Tom and Kathy, we love you. Have a safe and happy retirement, and we'll see you down the road. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, thanks, brother. Okay, on the committee's recommendation of adoption, are there any other delegates seeking recognition? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. The vote is so voted. Show that vote unanimous. Okay. Chair recognizes the brother microphone for name and local. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Tom Thornburg, 5th District Vice President, the Fearless 5th, Delegate at Large, now a Meritai Officer of this IAFF. I want to thank everybody in my district, all the fantastic words that were said, the resolution itself, my boys, my God, this is, uh, this is beyond words. I've only ever wanted to be a firefighter, and I got to be part of this proud union and come to this level and serve on this ex executive board and serve with such fine leaders, all of you, and great men and women. It's been a true honor and a privilege to serve. And I couldn't have done it without my rock, Kathy. My beautiful wife, Kathy. I love her dearly. And my boys, they're amazing, as everybody just witnessed. So I want to thank everyone in this room for your confidence, your vote, your putting me in this position and giving me the honor to be part of this wonderful, terrific union. Thank you, sir. God bless you, Tommy. God bless you, Kat. Thank you. All the best. Long, happy, and healthy retirement.